Opposition parties in the city of Tswane say that they'll continue to fight until the DA is out of power in the metro. This follows the decision by the Pretoria High Court to hear the matter of the removal of uh, Mayor Stevens Mokhalapa and Speaker Katlejo Matebe on an urgent basis. The DA approached the court in a bid to review the decision which saw the two removed through a motion of no confidence that was passed on the 5th of the month. The court has uh, also ruled that all resolutions taken during that council sitting, including the appointment of the EFF's Obakeng Ramubudu as uh, acting speaker, have been suspended. Well, this is how Judge Neil Touchton delivered his uh, judgment earlier. In case number 91569-19, stroke the effect of the following actions taken by the first respondent, the City of Chwane Metropolitan Municipal Council, the Council, are suspended pending the final determination of review proceedings to set such actions aside. The decision to appoint the 10th respondent, Obakeng Ramabudu, as Acting Speaker of the Council. The adoption of a motion of no confidence in the second respondent, the Speaker of the Council, Councillor Katlejo Matebe. The adoption of a motion of no confidence in the third respondent, the Executive Mayor of the City of Chwane Metropolitan, Metropolitan Council, Councillor Stevens Mohalapa. The applicant's application for review must be instituted within seven days of the date upon which this order is granted and served promptly thereafter. In case number 92212 stroke 19, the following resolutions passed by the first respondent, the City of Chuane Metropolitan Municipality, the City, are suspended pending the final determination of the relief sought pursuant to Part B of the applicant's amended notice of motion dated 16 December 2019, pages 113 to 117 of the record. All resolutions passed by the City at a City Council Special Council meeting on 5 December 2019. All resolutions passed by the City at a Continuation Council meeting on 5 December 2019, continuing an earlier Ordinary Council meeting of November 2019. In both cases, both case number 916569 stroke 19 and case number 92212 stroke 19, the costs incurred to date are reserved for later determination. Our reporter Molemo Wawanemo caught up with the ANC Tswane chairperson after the judgment was delivered. What are some of the decisions that have been suspended? The decisions, according to the judge, that uh, they, they are very bizarre. We are told that the, uh, uh, the sus uh, decisions taken on the 5th of December are suspended pending a review. Now, a review that we don't know because there's no review application in court. The judge said the review must be submitted within seven days. What we are saying is that how did the judge determine that there must be a review process when there is no review application? That's also very bizarre, according to us. But we will wait. We will respect the justice system. What we don't understand is what the DA is really is buying time for because it's inevitable. The parties that are here don't want the DA. The DA doesn't have majority in council. People don't want them on the ground, so we don't understand why they hang on power. Perhaps it's the salaries that are coming on the 31st of December 2019 that the DA is holding on to. So the DA is a, a, a doctor, I mean that the Abel Tau remains the acting mayor. We don't know because the, no council has appointed Tau to be acting mayor. Perhaps if you can remind me which council meeting appointed him, maybe I'll say yes. As far, I didn't miss any councils this year, and in all councils that I attended, there was never Mr. Tau who was appointed. In fact, Mr. Mukhalapa, the erstwhile mayor of the city of Tuani, applied for leave and the leave was rejected officially in council. So if your leave is rejected yourself at SABC, would you think that they'll put somebody while you are at work?
They won't put somebody. So according to Council, Mukhalapa went absent without official leave. Maybe he's in a guest house, maybe somewhere. Maybe he was enjoying during the holidays. Other things that he did on the audio, we don't know. What we know is that Abel Tau was never appointed by any council. Mukhalapa is absent without official leave. We saw that he submitted a, a, a confirmatory affidavit here saying that he is the mayor of the city of Tuani. Now, if he's saying he's the mayor, how then Tau does become another mayor when we have a mayor? The DA has fast all processes. The DA is undermining the intellect of our people in our city. And on the 3rd of January, we'll restart the whole process and remove each and every person of the DA that have put there. Then we'll see how they go about the lawfare and trying to do all the things and men of in Wendo they are doing here in courts to frustrate the process and service delivery on the ground. Because what is important and what the DA is doing now is that it's frustrating the poorest of the poor who are hit by floods in Mamilodi, people who are not having any water in areas of Kalinen, uh, saying, people in Lodiam, Itireleng, and people in Soshanguve who uh, uh, experience cable theft every day, people in Hamanskral who are still drinking water that has E. coli, that is not fit for human consumption. So the problems are insurmountable, but the DA is coming here to court to play with judges and play many other things. We will watch the process, but the ANC in the end is going to go to the Chief Justice and actually report this matter end to end where it started and where it ended because there were a lot of gaps in this and the judge ignored each and everything in that but we want the review of that ourselves as well. Okay. Thank you. There was uh, Dr. Hoshimae Bade and seemingly the legal wrangle will still continue to rage on. Advocate Selo Alcock also shared his thoughts with us following the Pretoria High